Welcome to the ABI family and congratulations on the purchase of your ABI Force. The ABI Force operates similarly to a standard zero turn platform. Please exercise caution when mounting and dismounting the ABI Force. Never attempt to mount the Force when the tool is in operation mode. Also, please never operate the Force from any other position than what is recommended. There is no room for passengers, so one operator at a time, please. Mount the ABI Force by stepping onto the spring-loaded floor. Be aware of the foot pedal near your right foot. This foot pedal, when engaged, will lock the front caster wheels into a forward-facing position. Remove your foot from the pedal and the caster wheels will be able to rotate freely. As you stand on the Force platform, the dashboard is immediately in front of you. The components of the dashboard include the hour meter, choke, throttle, ignition switch, and a combination of operational levers and hydraulic controls. The hour meter is the most understated component on the dashboard. Service and maintenance requirements are based on hours logged on the machine. Use the hour meter to monitor your usage and reference the ABI maintenance manual located on board the ABI Force. Left of the hour meter is the engine choke. A brand new, dormant, or cold engine will require a choke to be engaged in order to prime and start the ABI force. Use the choke in tandem with the throttle adjustment and keep it engaged until the force starts up and idles. In most circumstances, the throttle will be fully open during operation. Adjust the throttle down as needed and then to the lowest setting to power off before dismounting. Once the choke is engaged and the throttle is adjusted in tandem, turn the ignition key from the on position to the start and release as the engine turns over. To turn off, lower the throttle until the unit idles, then turn the key to off position. ABI Force operational levers are used in the same fashion as a standard zero turn platform. Each lever controls the hydrostatic motor on its respective side. Moving the left lever forward makes the left tire move forward. Moving the right lever forward will result in the right wheel following suit. Same is true of reverse. Turning can happen gradually or be done quickly. Turn the machine gradually by moving the lever forward, leaving the adjacent lever stationary. Same turning actions can be made in reverse. For a quick zero turn maneuver, move the operational levers in opposite directions. For consistent results on any job, an adjustable squeeze handle is positioned as a governor, keeping operation speed steady and dependable. Loosen both knobs on either side of the squeeze handle to adjust towards or away from the operator for slower or faster speeds respectively. For safety, please make adjustments when the ABI force is completely stopped. The levers located on the top left of the dashboard control your mid-mount attachments. The hydraulic levers work in two directions, forward and back. The bent and longer hydraulic lever will raise and lower your mid-mount attachment under the belly of the ABI force. Moving left, the center lever will adjust the pitch of the mid-mount underbelly attachment. A third lever, furthest to the left, adjusts an optional rear hydraulic ram. The rear hydraulic ram is used to either engage or lift and transport a rear finish attachment. Adjusting engagement timing, depth, and the pitch of the mid-mount system is the vast majority of the learning curve associated with the ABI Force. Mastery of the above requires experience on the machine. Be patient and embrace the learning curve. You'll pick it up over time. The optional spreader has two control handles positioned on the dashboard for ease of access while using the spreader. The left handle, the hopper control cable, controls the hopper door located at the base of the hopper. The right handle, the diffuser cable, controls the side adjustment of the spread. The control knob located on the dashboard allows for quick adjustment of the range while spreading. The ABI Force mid-mount system utilizes two hydraulic rams. These rams allow the user to adjust mid-mount attachment options for the positive depth control as well as its pitch. With the moving cylinders, please be mindful of any pinch points. Common pinch points are labeled with stickers on your ABI Force. Please use caution and keep operation handles disengaged when altering or working around these and other areas around the mid-mount system. In order to obtain consistency, safety, and playability, four different size stop collars can be applied in any combination onto the hydraulic ram to limit and control depth adjustments made to the mid-mount system. Once you find the desired depth on a job site, you can use the flip stop and stop collars to ensure you hit the same depth with every pass. For grooming, preparing, and renovating, different attachments may be swapped and connected to the ABI Force options dock. 
This dock includes seven pockets for connecting the various ABI mid-mount attachments. For turf grass work, swap out the mid-mount options dock for the optional plug aerator attachment. An optional rear hydraulic lift is easily added to any ABI force. Connect the ram to the designated area at the top and bottom of the stroke with two pins. Once installed, use your furthest left operational lever to extend and contract the hydraulic ram. The ram will lower an arm that is able to telescope. This is your lift point. Connect finish attachments with carabiner clips, adjusting the telescoping arm with the bent and lich pin to give you the most lift clearance for each finish drag. When maintaining the ABI force, please make sure the unit is powered off. Engage the parking brake before beginning any maintenance work. Please reference the maintenance schedule inside your owner's manual and perform maintenance accordingly. When working with electric portions of the ABI force, please make sure to disconnect the battery. To disengage the wheels on the ABI force, remove the protective plating behind the knee pad. Identify the hydraulic motors and rotate the adjustable nut counterclockwise to neutralize the wheels from the hydraulic system. Each hydraulic ram has two grease zerks located on either end of the ram. The front caster wheels also have two zerks, one near the top cap and the other near the center of the hub where the inner bearings are located. The oil filter is most easily accessed with the ABI Force Options dock fully lowered and the force up on a lift. It is located under belly, stationed just above the muffler. Behind the ABI Force knee pad are the inner engine and electrical components. The fuel filter can be accessed in line from the gas tank to the engine. Also, behind the ABI Force knee pad is the air filter. The air filter is a vital part of the engine and will be a frequent visit during your use of the ABI Force. Stationed internally for safety, the electric start inline fuse is installed as an electrical escape plan if the machine were to experience a short. The fuse is enclosed in a rubber coated case and is a 30 amp fuse. Directly following the fuse, attached to the inner wall of the ABI force, is the starter solenoid. The oil reservoir and dipstick are easily accessible. A full drain hose system includes a pre-cut hole out of the protective plating near the spring-loaded floor. Remove the hose from the stationary clip and place through the hole into a drip pan to remove or replace oil. The ABI force uses a synthetic 5W40 blend. The ABI force hydraulic system runs on the same fluid as the engine oil, the synthetic 5W40 blend. The vast array of attachments give the ABI Force its versatility and efficiency on the job site. Let's take a minute to walk through connecting those various attachments to the Force. Some attachments are heavy. Be thoughtful, utilize proper lifting technique, pay attention to pinch points, and ask someone for help if necessary. The ABI Force aerator attachment can be swapped out and installed under belly. For installation of the aerator option, please reference the aerator installation video. The ABI Options dock comes standard with a finish rake. The finish rate comes in replaceable sections and can be used moving forward or backwards. A standard option, the seven ABI scar fires insert into the pockets on the options dock with a bent pin and a linch pin. The Vibraflex is equipped standard on all sports surf units. The assembly will pin into two of the seven pockets centered underbelly. Attaching the Vibraflex can be done alone, but it's easier with two people. The pair of profile blades insert into the pockets on the options dock with a bent pin and a linch pin. Pick between one or two blades for different applications. For two blades, install both blades in each of the outermost pockets. For the installation of one blade, choose either the centermost pocket on the ABI force or the outermost pocket for a less resistant cutting edge. If you purchase your force with an edger, your force will come prepared for easy installation. If you purchase the edger after the original point of sale, please reference the edger installation video. The ABI mini box blade fastens to the force finish rake. It can be mounted by driving the force over the blade, lowering the finish rake into the desired location, and securing it to the finish rake with a square washer and a wing nut. A breaker bar is sent with every mini box option for tightening and loosening the wing nut. Connecting any of your rear finish attachments to the ABI force is a simple process. To connect the rigid, XD, and Coco drag mats, use chain link and carabiner clips to clip onto the eye hooks on the rear of the ABI force. Chain link may vary based on performance and customer expectation. If applicable, connect the rear hydraulic to the mid-lift chain, or when complete with use, hang chain over the drag mat hanger hook. When connecting the fine finish broom and the pro finisher, pin the stabilizing arms to the eye hooks to establish your pivot point. Connect the mid-lift chain to either the rear hydraulic or drag mat hanger option. The ABI Force can also be equipped with an optional seed hopper. 
Upon original order, the ABI Force will ship with the hopper unit plumbed and ready for use. If you have any further questions about the use or maintenance of your ABI Force, please contact our customer support office at 855-211-0598 or visit us at abisupport.com. Welcome to the ABI family.